So, this is Jack Hopman uh, from Lead Finder Jack. Uh, I'm really thankful that you have time to come on the live webinar or uh, watch the replay. Um, over the last, I think, two months before we started with beta testing, we did a lot of um, improvements based on the feedback and also what we still had on the wish list. Uh, lead Final Jack, we started developing in December last year, so it's about eight months project now and it's getting to the official release August 13th. So what you see now has almost all the features we are planning to release. Um, you still uh, will do a major update on the color scheme to look at more professional so we work on that. The next release probably have that. It's now pretty wide and the buttons uh, doesn't uh, 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 so, so um, you know, uh, how you call it is easy to find. So we will get that uh, straightened out. So um, I know a couple of you guys have used Lead Finder Jack, and a couple have sent me reviews uh, and feedback. So I really appreciate that. So we, before we uh, opened uh, this to the mass, it is pretty well tested. So let me quickly go over the functionality, how it works. So if you, you know, have of you guys now probably, and other half haven't started yet. So it's it's all started with the campaigns, and you know, let's create to, tonight a new campaign. Let's say anyone has a proposal for a new niche which we should test tonight. Uh, shall I uh, select one? Uh, uh, which niche shall we take tonight? So, um, we did a rule for wall plumbing, pl wall pump repair, okay? Well, I don't know. Do you think uh, Dr. there are a lot of companies advertising on AdWords for that? I don't know. I I have no uh, experience with this. People have water wells, okay? Yeah. Well pump repair. Well pump fix. Well pump problem. Any other keywords we should use? Well pump insulation. Uh, well pump service. Ah, you guys are good. Service. Well pump. Replacement. I think that um, any particular city we should, you know, Boca always work. And uh, any other city as Boca in the United States? Dallas, Newport Beach, Newport Beach, VA. Okay, so we have enough cities, okay, because how more? <coughs> now it is, uh, um, it's part of the keyword, so this, the keyword will eventually the keyword plus the city. So that is what it gets typed um, to Newport is, is, uh, is one word. Okay. Okay, so it, it is part of the city. So Walport fix Bokerton. Walp 
pump fix Dallas is one keyword okay so you cannot really set um, a city so that so let's save this and before we uh, so well pump and let's first to do only ads I have no idea how many results we get okay we can always add places in organic later on if we don't get any results so it's now uh, okay we get results so that's good about.com uh, we don't need but I think I see here some uh, some good ads coming up so I think uh, this work for tonight okay so now what is happening now then it will uh, look for this keyword with those cities in Google search and it find all those uh, business worth advertising on those keywords okay so um, this the search is going on I have no idea you know it's it's, it's adding up um, so in let's uh, in the meantime let's discuss about the email template mm. we did a lot of work on the background you probably don't see it but if you modify now you can set the max width of the email so f for example if you want a small email you see this it changed the width of this all sentences if I change it back to 650 it, um, it is much wider so that is like a real autoresponder you can set the width also we had some problems with uh, inserted image and that also has been fixed and if you can all only use those tokens in the HTML mode so if you go to the source edit mode you cannot insert on token so they are grayed out now okay so there's a lot of code on the back with uh, uh, prevent all those problems and so we man manage that um, so that was that uh, there's a dashboard which you can see if an email gets sent so that's also new and if an email is broken or not working or so it will show us filled and you can click on this you can click on that in a sent email not but in a pending email you can and, and make changes or delete it so that's going on let's see how far we with search so it's still running so the an other feature which we added is under settings so now don't uh, scare every country where Google uh, advertise or has a search we can set that as uh, we can set it as a search so let's say we want to add Cuba and we press OK and we go to campaigns modify and now you can uh, uh, set Cuba as the, as the country okay so that that way has been added let's see it's still running so it's, let's see uh, well pump well pump is, oh we got some uh, results in now so what also new is you see the, the about.com and you probably don't want to advertise it you can cross mark that are you sure you don't you want to hide the company yes so now about.com will never be shown up until you unhide that company okay so home advisor probably also too big for you okay so you can clean up the list now you can also jump directly from this dashboard from the campaign dashboard to the company information and update all the information and if you are on a call with the company you can make notes like next next call appointment is August 
13, 11 a.m. EST. Okay? So now that information gets stored with that company. And if you go back to the campaigns, everything, all the settings are still the same. So let's go back to search. And it's still searching. Okay? It's still getting that information. So that is new. Um, as you guys know, in um, templates, you can create a new template very easily. Like uh, so, uh, well, um, can your customers find you? Or I found you, but I found you, but and have a question. Okay, that probably will work to open that email. Hello, I found your website. We think both of them is the best we got. Okay, so let's save this, and then you have a new email. Then you go back to campaigns, modify it. And you see well pumps, and you add that to to the list to send out emails and to use. Okay, and you press save. So it's all very easy. And let's see how far the search at the moment is. So it's it's find uh, one, two, three. Let's uh, close my Outlook. <coughs> so it find all those. Uh, Uh, business who are advertising on uh, uh, on Google because we only set only check the ads. We can also do places and organic. That will result in more uh, more results. Okay. I don't know why it is still showing. Okay. So with that said, you can now start the campaign if. Or first you need to select which email you want to use or you select out select emails and select the most likely one and then you can start the campaign you this still in the test mode so in the test mode it will get sent to only the user and it will also show the company as the user so you you have an it's it's um, you you it doesn't get sent to the company that's what you want to remember so let me start the campaign. Eight, mil, eight emails have been added to the list. I'm not sure if you see that because it's a pop-up. And if you go to the dashboard, you will see in a second that those are pending and they get sent one at one. And if there's a problem with one of those email addresses or so, it will show uh, failed. And, if, and then you can, for example, delete that or you can uh, update the email address. So there's a lot of things on the background which help you to send those emails quite well. So I think uh, I speak a lot, but I like to learn from you which question you have, so so that I can uh, comment on those. So there is now Q and A, and please ask questions about you know whatever you, you need to learn to send out those emails to get clients. Phone numbers aren't working yet. I, Kathy, are you referring on a f field? Uh, or phone numbers are not showing here, but you can click on an I and if the phone number is available it should uh, it should list them. I don't know. Yeah, the phone number. If it's available, if the software can find them, it will show them. Does that answer your question, Kathy? And you can now go from the campaign very easily to the company information. I think that is the big uh, improvement.
a list of emails. Now you cannot send uh, import a list of emails. You can import um, um, domain names. Let's see where we make that possible. Uh, search manual domain. Okay, you can enter domain names and get those searched. So only email doesn't do you so much because you have no information about the website. But if you upload domain names, can you enter large number? Yes, you can enter a large number of domain names separated by comma. So with that, you know, you you can check out if um, if they have a mobile website, if they have bad reviews, if if they have social presence, if they rank for certain keyword. All that information get gathered, and and you can manage it within the software. And then you can uh, apply an autoresponder to it. Was away three weeks ago. What is the price to buy now, please? Or was this a bonus? Can't remember. Um, this was a bonus uh, product. Um, if you you will keep the bonus um, as the as a mobile version. So so check if it is a mobile version or not because it was related to. Uh, that mobile uh, product. If you some, if you tested during you know now and you sent me feedback, you will get the full version, the full version, all the features. You can keep them. So now you can take advantage of that. So if you so in the emails. So I got a question from Kat, Katty. If you have enough time, would you walk through sending emails again? You go pretty fast and I think miss some stuff. Okay, yeah, I know. It's, I do it every day. So either you edit an email or you add an email. So we already created one for Wildpumps, so let's create another one. Okay? So let's Wildpumps 2. And then um, about the email from yesterday. Okay. Hello. Um, yesterday I found out about your website okay and then you can also use those tokens which use that company information in the email but like username and first name okay but um, let's say are you aware of this review okay and now I insert that token from bad review okay now that bad review will get shown for that company in the email and let's save this now we go back to campaigns and modify and now Wildpumps 2 is uh, is uh, added so now Wildpumps 1 and Wildpumps 2 you know Let's say I want to send it out three days after uh, Wildpumps first email and I press save. Okay, so now you, if you have a lot of bad reviews, you can sort on them or you just send them, send them, uh, so because the second email is about bad reviews, uh, I don't know, 
option. You see, there's no reviews here. So that doesn't make so much sense. But here, if you do reputation marketing, you can sort on bad reviews, sort this out and send an email. Okay? So that is, it's very easy to do. And once you have a couple of good emails set up, then you can just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Okay? Yes, this was a bonus for uh, instant lead machine, yes, and that was only the mobile version, but I give you all the full version, the pro version, and you can keep that uh, if you send me a review. So I'm really looking for feedback. <laughs> Infusionsoft charges $200 per month and they do not have of what you do. Okay, I thank you. I, I don't use Infusionsoft. I hear so many things that is complicated to use, so I stay away with it. I'm not sure what test mode is. Okay, Stu, before you feel comfortable in the beginning to send uh, to the company the emails what you have here selected get sent to only the user. Okay? So once, once you get those emails in your inbox and you say, okay, everything looks good, you switch to live mode and you start campaign and now it will get sent what you have selected here to the user and or company okay but I I, I prefer first the test mode see how the emails looking in your inbox everything is well and then or you can send a test email here test email and then you press OK email has been sent for so now you you see one email from that so that is also a possibility okay and in the settings you need to set up your uh, hoster okay yes and I think in the beginning uh, you need to build up trust how things are looking so it's new for you this software and everything is new you have the possibility to send first to yourself and once everything looks good to your like you're going to send the companies so that's uh, I, I also use it on that way so let's go back to search you know it's actually find quite a bit of uh, companies and more than half we found the email address so those you can target with your service. And we haven't uh, check of place and organic. And if you do that, uh, you, you will f find even more uh, companies. OK. Any other questions? So the launch is August 13. Um, so that's uh, coming up and we are getting everything ready, the sales page, the software, you know, the last steps and for that we also need uh, reviews from your guys and you know you had uh, advantage to use it from day one and see the development and you got a lot of training so it shouldn't be that hard for you to give feedback so the latest feedback is 3-0 at the moment 3-0 yeah you need an um, emulator for the Mac so to run uh, lead finder jack but it, um, I got a couple of uh, better tests who were successfully to do that. Uh, virtual box is good for the Mac. Okay, virtual box too. I know too the uh, used 
uh, an emulator, virtual box, and it works. The feedback, uh, send them to support at lead finder jack.com uh, Will the software handle received emails or keep track of over? Not yet, Grace, but um, that will be added. This is one of the things we're going to add when, uh, after release. And Stu said it is free too, so I think uh, if you don't have an emulator, that uh, that fertile box that is probably a good uh, option. And then the emulators vary. Parallels runs sometimes better than fertile box. I think yeah, Martin said. So there are a couple of options. So. Several beta tests have run it on the Mac successfully. Okay, let's see if I... Yeah, you can also set up uh, Gmail. So, it's... Okay, let's see if there are other questions still go. Can you make revolving email SMD options so it is not to burn or demon? Can you? Oh, a revolving? You mean, yes, that will be added. So now you can only set up one um, email profile, but we will add that you can set up several. If you are really uh, using the software, send them more than 100 per day, you might need uh, several uh, email uh, accounts. I have been using a free email program, uh, Turbo SMT, okay. You can, uh, I think the advantage from uh, I, I'm using a free using a free e email program, but I'm not sure what you mean with that. But within the software, you want to set up a profile, so so uh, you can send the emails f within the software with all those tokens. You know, I'm not sure if you if how you uh, get if. If that answers your question or your or your, uh, or your mar remark, so what is your guys' uh, opinion so far? Um, do you like the features? Would you like? Uh, would you be willing to recommend uh, other users? Bloody Ocean, uh, Ocean, Dale. <laughs> Last R said yes. So that's the kind of feedback we are looking for, of course. Extensive features need tutorial to use. Yeah, we will make some tutorials, but it's very easy. Absolutely, will recommend it too. Yeah, I know, you know, and I, I'm thankful for you, all your feedbacks too. So, any question uh, you you have, would you like me to answer it? We'll have more email templates in product uh, release. Yes, we we will have in the pro version. 
So I don't know if Stephen, if you have some edit uh, feedback. If you do have, we will have more email templates in the pro version for you available. Okay. So it's sending emails to my own server, Gmail, and all the email server. So, Kathy, I um, are you exporting the information and importing to uh, to your uh, Turbo SMTP? I'm not sure how that works. If I'm not sure, if I follow you. Need to give back to keep this pro version. Yes. Can we add? to a campaign yet or do we still have to add a new campaign each time we add to database? Can we add to a campaign yet? Now you can add information. So if you go to campaigns and modify, you can add information and do a new search. Build this uh, software in WGO and do you have the price in mind? Yes and yes. No, I simply set up the, no, I simply set up the turbo address in the settings sheet. Okay. Kathy, if you uh, can send me a support ticket with that information, I, I am going to check it out. It's a uh, one line per PC. The basic version comes with one. The pro version comes with two. Where can I download mobile version to send? This is the mobile version, okay? Mobile, yes or no? Okay, all those websites from those welcome, you don't have a mobile version. So that, that is one of the filters you have, okay, to, to your av av availability, and which you also keep in search. There are a number of campaign books, is something called pages. What does this do? Um, uh, if you click Ads, it will search on the first page and on the second page from Google. If you, for example, organic, and if you want to search five pages deep, now it will search five pages. Okay? So the amount of pages it serves. Yes, but how do I install to test on the Mac? You need the uh, virtual box, for example. Okay? I think we got some good uh, solutions for that. It's not on, the, on itself, it is a Windows version, but you can run it on a Mac with a virtual box. So you need an emulator. How accurate are the reviews mobile? So the reviews are all from Google Plus, so they are accurate. And the mobile is pretty accurate. It's, uh, it's let's say, it's 90% at the moment, and we still have an update coming uh, for the next, so that's pretty close to, you know, 98%, I think. What does organic serve, serve, what does organic serve for? It's um, organic, so if you have a keyword and you want to search for if the company you are also list on a natural place, so not on the ad, but on a natural SEO place, that is where it finds the company URL. Can you give, you can give why email address to anyone who wants to talk about using it on a Mac, okay? Um, so Stu is active in the Facebook group and if you have question about 
uh, running on an uh, let's see if I have that uh, if you have question about that virtual box thing and you want to have Stu help you with that you want to go to the Facebook group I just post the link here and Stu will help you with that If Pro has two, if the Pro has two PC per license, is it possible to transfer license to another PC? You know, if you can, if you submit a ticket for that. For example, if your PC gets broken or so, we can release that for a PC. You know, not every day, so it does not get abused, but we can do it manually to release it for another PC. So this is all done so it doesn't get uh, on the black market. Okay, any other questions? Everybody knows how to use it? Uh, you know, you can use it for your own country. You can jump from the campaign to the company it is, you see now the slider bar is down I click on this and then go back to campaigns and the slider bar is still down so it, it, it remembers all the settings okay so that's all taken in account to make it as easy as possible and here you can select you know can filter on a lot of things. So now, for example, we uh, search for weld pump, and we got a couple of companies we might be interested to target your service to. Where do I download the bonus check? So uh, send a support ticket with your. Um, uh, mobile uh, PayPal information and I will uh, respond to, to it okay so send it. do you still have my support email support at lead finder jack dot com okay any other questions So with that, um, I thank you for your time and all your questions and feedback. And hopefully um, you will uh, put it to practice. And, and hope and get some results and send me some feedback. Thank you so much.